This video is the first of a three-part series demonstrating a feature new in Secure CRT and SecureFX 7.2, which allows you to store personal data in a separate configuration folder. In this first video of the series, we'll outline the process of splitting out your personal configuration settings into another folder. The second video in this series will demonstrate how to make use of your separate configuration folders from different machines. The third video in the series will show you how to revert back to a single configuration folder. Imagine being able to store non-sensitive settings in the cloud or other network location while keeping personal data such as usernames, passwords, and logon actions in a secure local folder. Another benefit would be sharing saved sessions with colleagues without exposing your personal data. Global options, like those found in the Global Options dialog, as well as button bar definitions, color schemes, and toolbar customizations are all stored in .ini files found in SecureCRT's configuration folder. If you're not sure where this is located, open Global Options, select the General Configuration Paths category, and make note of the configuration folder. Saved sessions are stored in the subfolder named Sessions. Each .ini file contains configuration settings which correspond to the session names seen within the Session Manager or the Connect dialog. To store personal settings in a separate configuration folder, first close all other instances of SecureCRT that may be running. Then open the Global Options and select the General Configuration Paths category. Next. Enable the Store Personal Data Separately option and specify the location in which your personal data will be stored. By default, SecureCRT creates a new folder named config.personal as a sibling to the existing config folder used by SecureCRT. Then, press the OK button to confirm your changes. You are instructed that the change will take place the next time SecureCRT is started. Restart SecureCRT. When the new instance of SecureCRT starts, you will be prompted for an opportunity to postpone the separation process since it may take a few minutes depending on the location of your configuration and if you have a large number of sessions. In this instance, we want to perform the separation process right away. Once the separation process has completed, your personal configuration settings will be loaded from your trusted personal configuration folder and all other settings will be loaded from the original configuration folder. Once you've separated your private configuration settings into a different folder, you are free to move your non-personal configuration settings to your favorite cloud storage provider or other network location. Here is a suggested sequence. First, close all other instances of SecureCRT that may be running. Next, browse to the location of your current non-personal configuration folder. One quick way to get there is to copy the configuration folder field from the Global Options dialog and simply run that path using the Windows R keyboard shortcut. Next, copy all of the files in your non-personal configuration folder either to a network share, if you're using a shared network location, or to the local synchronized folder associated with your preferred cloud storage provider. Finally, open Global Options and in the General Configuration Paths category, change the value of this setting to the Network Share or Synchronized Folder location. Once you restart SecureCRT, your personal configuration settings will be loaded from your trusted personal configuration folder and all other settings will be loaded from your Network or Cloud Synchronized folder. The second video in this series will demonstrate how to make use of your separate configuration folders from different machines.